out, Rick. It's a melee. What's happening? Well, someone just offered me seven thousand dollars for a ticket up there, and I say, "Oh, Lupe Fiasco." He goes, "No, man, great cut, great cut. Isn't that amazing? Seven thousand dollars for a ticket? We've come. I'm worth every penny. We... Oh, I know. I'm yes. worth every penny. He totally is. For those of you who've never seen Greg on the stage, he's worth every cent. <laughs> to my mind, he is the leading hip hop artist in the United States of America. He is. In fact, he's the only one I have ever listened to. I know the names of these others, but that music isn't really my scene. Can you believe the Chicago talent we got here tonight? <laughs> I cannot believe it. Yeah. Can't believe Lupe Fiasco is coming in. That's right. pretty cool. Yeah. He's, he's a great interview and uh, smart guy. He's, he's doing about 17 million things today. 17 oh, billion? This is one of them. Okay. So I'm pretty happy about that. So he's from Chicago. Do you think he's happy to be back? I think he. Um, you know what I mean, like just to be able to feel the Chicago fans. What I think, do you, think? He's, you know he's a Chicago guy, and he, right. you know, he's never sh shied away from that. I mean, even on his records, he's, a, he's broadcast that. Mm -hmm. Unlike some people in uh, Chicago who have gone away, you know, to L.A., New York, London, or whatever, to make it big, quote unquote. Uh, Lupe has always maintained roots here and uh, has always celebrated the fact that he's from Chicago. So yeah, I think it's a big deal for him nice. to be here, you know, in Chicago on the week that his record is coming out. Um, I think that's, that's where he wants to be when, when, when that record comes out. And the show is sold out, Mary. Any pressure with them? Mm -hmm. <laughs> They're here for Lupe Fiasco. <laughs> but I hope they'll be interested in Cabrini. Honestly, Mary, I was at the box office and I said, it's sold out. And they said, Mary Schmink's sucking. And that was literally what they said. So you outweighed Lupe in their minds. Totally true. We're a week early. This sounds like St. Patrick's Day at the Billy Goat. <laughs> This is a phenomenon. I'm outside uh, smoking as I do, and somebody comes up and goes, Man, do you have a ticket to the show? And I go, No. He goes, You know where I can get a ticket to the show? And I say, Because I'm nosy, how much would you pay for a ticket to the show? He goes, I'll pay $50 for a ticket to the show. I say, Are you here to see Rick Cogan? <laughs>